getting ready. Come with me, boys, up at top, but no, we're going to start off with the Fisher from Earthshaker. Soshka now, stunned up, locked down. How does not have a Lucent Beam, so there's no further nuke damage, but the body block from FY is perfect. Keeping him in the trees, and first blood it goes the way of FY. Down on the spot lane. Yeah. And come with me is sitting up very sneakily behind the tower. If he gets another Good rocket fissure. onto the towers, it could result into a potential kill. Yeah, kill Minots down a bot lane, but that was three against zero. Where's Paris? Soshka in the jungle, stacking away for himself, trying to how defensive Burden are being though. Four heroes towards this middle jungle area as Fenrir launches out the Earth Spike, but he's stunned up twice here. Has come with me, Minots. Looking for the slow from Sing Sing, they'll get it, and Viper will find the lion who was sitting in the enemy jungle. But in he has to go back. They've got a hawk scouting him out, so they know Necromant's hiding in these trees. Vision-wise, though, the Observer Ward mid does fade out, and Ice Ice starts with the roar. They turn back with the Viper Strike onto Hao. Sing Sing still going to go down to one more right-click, but maybe they can get the trade here. The damage over time, Hao will fall. One more bash to the back, and come with me, finds the trade-off. As Necromant has made his way down from the top lane, the cooldown. A nice two for one here. It's two cores for the one Viper. Burden. Evening up the kill score, seven minutes in, three to three, and how making his move towards middle. You know, like, his kind of his farm potential stopped for a moment, but he uses, as you can see, he's level six now. He will use his ultimate. He's going to aim towards getting that, getting oh, to use his ultimate man. into, resulting into a kill. And we can see another kill set up there. And there's the here. ulti, like you said. How going in on Sing Sing. He doesn't have mana just yet for another Lucent Beam. The right click's coming out, won't finish off the Viper as two supports coming in. My nuts and come with me, look for the stun and find how. Start off with a cask and then the Fire Blast. Slow him down with the Ignite. He's pretty good there here though with the three stick charges. Not gonna come off the cooldown in time and he does fall. Great Fisher from FY, it just wasn't quite enough. It was really close though. Fist the Lion's life has come with me still chasing. Both of them very low on HP, but Two heroes oh rotating yeah, towards the top FY lane. ready with the Earthshaker. Raw to start. Minot's caught as FY and Champ Tournament Fisher. Actually blocking Co with me as well. That's a great play by him. Lucent Beam slowing the retreat. Finger of death from Fenrir will seal the deal. And a nice change up there as VG take the two. Heroes smoking up behind the tower to set up kills slash tower push. Ice 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 to start things off. Actually, Lucent Beam will find that. Minots though, roared up and taken down. Good Echo Slam from FY. Only on one, but it's the one they need. Ogre, again, falls with his comrade. The Witch Doctor, two supports dead. Is the farming now worth it, though, for their core heroes? Because they're losing tier one. The pushing... Well, let's start it off on Hal, but good Fisher not allowing the call to come out of Soshka. I don't know if that was intended, but Hal turns around now. With his Eclipse, damage output's pretty big, but not great enough. As Sing Sing's mech keeps them all healthy and they... Get the Culling Blade and back up. So like you said, Fenrir getting time to farm Blink, get experience on top lane, middle lane, super. Building in bottom. Paris jumps in, FY caught, and with a cooldown, that should be a pretty simple cleanup. I think the problem here for Burning United, despite them getting kills, well, just in time, super makes his way out with a beasting of health while up at top, but looking at Necro, man, the gyro's caught, ice, 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 with a Necro level two. And this is VG. They're going to start things off with Axes, the Lucent Beam, and now the Fisher onto three. Fenrir, three man Earth Spike, and Necroman drops so low that the Sonic Wave just finishes him off. Soshka can't blink onto anyone, and now he's stuck in the middle of three heroes. Sing Sing is the last man standing, and there's no room to breathe for Burden United right now as they walk towards the Roche Pit, but VG were one step ahead. And I was about to mention how poorly the fight actually is, go is going to start for VG Gaming just because book was used, they it, it's good to push with as well as just giving an extra amount of damage to the team fight. Well, right now VG are actually grouping up, they've gone behind the tower, found Soshka, super blinks forward and with a Fisher finger of death, Soshka is the one being jumped on instead of the one doing the initiation. Tier 2 will fall, Enchant Totem and the right click attacks here, they're dashing up onto Tier 3. They still have the Aegis to work around and how do you stop? Forward. Fenrir finds come with me with the Eclipse. They're going to go further in with Minus taking a massive amount of damage. One more hit. Down he goes. And tier three, surely going to fall. There's no buybacks on the three burden heroes that are dead. Gyro and Viper. Too far forward, Necroman. The blink stun death. As he does have a buyback available. But slowly but surely, VG. Necro three on the Queen of Pain. It looks like Sing Sing just getting his mana drained while they take the racks. And they're just getting picked off one by one. They're not playing as a team. They're just getting picked off. The they see the push coming, they're not grouping up, they're getting, they're going into the fight and they are in a disadvantage already because an ogre tries to defend, walks in, dies. 
They walk in, die. Keep on a hero. Yeah. So a hero that jumps in, if you put it on a Beastmaster or a Queen of Pain, given that. Well, Super is initiated up at the top. He has blinked, but he'll uh, not be able to get that off as Paris. And I feel like Axe is actually kind of underrated on that hero, just because the beams, the, the, the change that came before the recent patch was that beams not only we have an, no we have no initiation top the beams on oh the hero do now Soska missing the call Captain's the necro unit but now the raw turn around my nuts caught sonic wave the end of it will hit and Soska left alone again good fisher from fy catching sings and cancelling out the tp and he's locked in the trees as well looks like they're gonna lose three for nothing in return vg cleans them up and where's how how now with Fenrir moving it's towards the middle lane, that is the ultimate there. Onto the Blink Lion, Necroman not on for this world as he's taken out by the Finger of Death. It looks like Burden United are down and out. The Yule Scepter come with me looking for one last kill, looking for a little bit of pride back from, in, from this game, but he's not going to get it. Fenrir with the Glimmer Cape, maybe the Urn ticks him over, yep, just about. Come with me, finds that, but they've got four heroes dead with no buyback. Minots is the last one standing, and uh, he's pretty much Dead to rights, a super one, one little shadow strike, enough to uh, drop him low. And at this point, it's just waiting for that GG call. I feel like there's no coming back for Bird United, and it, see it still looks like they're not giving up. Well, their respawn timers are still relatively low. They're alive in a you know 15 seconds or so across the board, so maybe one last fight, one blink call into cooldown. Try and uh, try and salvage something from this series at the very least. Uh, Sing Sing, almost getting hit by the glaives. They're bouncing into these tier four towers. How uh, he's got his ultimate 87 seconds. So we're not going to see another big eclipse play. I don't feel. Ice size clearing up top lane, while well, the rest of his team has finished up mid. Soshka with a big blink in. Here we go. The call down to land onto How and Fy. A lot of spill damage as How will drop along with that uh, Earthshaker. And they finally get a team fight that they've been waiting 26 minutes for. Yules up onto Eyes Eyes turns back with the roar, but there should be enough stuns and damage here to finish him off before he can TP back to base. They have lost. Yeah, like I was saying, it's sort of one last hurrah. Let's get some kills, lads. Let's do it. They do get a couple, but in the end, it's